hello nail friends welcome back to easy nails today i am doing an aquarium nails collab with a bunch of lovely ladies here on youtube i'm gonna link all of their channels are down below i highly encourage you guys to go check them out if you guys do not know an aquarium nail is basically a nail with oil inside of it it has a backing and you're supposed to fill it up with glitters and stuff and it's supposed to move around kind of like a snow globe so here is my attempt at doing that i took a full nail cover tip i measured out the sides here on a nail form because i'm going to need a backing you're going to need a backing to hold in that oil that you fill up the nail tip with so i am using ibd hard gel and again i measured out the dimensions of the full cover nail tip so I'm basically creating the backing for that nail here, and then I'm gonna cure that in the LED UV lamp. Now I'm just letting you guys know here that this attempt went pretty badly. These were much more difficult than what I anticipated, but you live and you learn, and it was a really, really fun experience. I'm super excited to see what the other girls in the collab came up with. So you guys can see here, um, I took out that backing from the nail form and I am basically just adhering it to the back of the nail. You guys can see that I am using gel to adhere it to the back of the nail, builder gel. And I'm just fitting it on to my nail here because you wanna put the backing right at the point that your, um, your full cover nail um, it stops, right? So right at the back of your natural nail, if that makes sense. So I'm putting on the full cover tip and I'm seeing the spacing here. And then I'm gonna use some builder gel to adhere it to the back of the nail. And you guys can see me doing that here. And I think that my mistake was um, somehow there were still some holes. So the oil, when I went to put in the oil into the nail on top, it leaked through the bottom of the nail so somehow i didn't seal it well enough but i'm just showing you guys here i cured that right and then i'm cutting off the excess here and then i'm going to go in with the nail file later and shape that up and then the other thing you guys are going to need is a little piece of gel um to cure to fill in that area right in between your finger so that the oil does not fall. So I took another piece of hard gel, cured it in the lamp, and then stuck it right in between that um, space there, between your finger and the, um, the tip here. So you guys can see me doing that here, and then I cured that in the lamp. And then again here, after I cured that, I'm going in with some scissors and just trimming off the excess and then you guys can see you have a little, it's almost like a little tunnel there, right? That you're gonna fill in. So I'm gonna show you guys two methods that I did here. Again, here I took a full cover nail tip, put it on my nail, and then here I used an actual pretty wide nail tip that I had. I thought that maybe this would hold better um, than the hard gel. So I cut out that nail tip into the shape that I needed it to fit snugly on the back of the full cover nail. And then I'm going to do the same process using hard gel to adhere this to the back of the nail. And I'm going to let you guys watch. I cut out a little piece of that nail tip, a little extra piece, and I fit it snugly in between my finger and the attachment point there. And then I used some hard gel, you guys, to glue these two together. And then I'm going to cure this in the lamp. And you guys, if you have ever done this before, please let me know. I would love to hear what methods you guys used. I know that some people used acrylic 
and I just thought that acrylic would take too long to set and that it would be too messy. That's why I opted to use hard gel here. But let me know if you guys have done this before, what your experiences have been. I would love, love to hear down below. And you guys, please subscribe to the channel. I do tons of fun stuff like this and teach you how to create beautiful, gorgeous, and affordable nails at home. And you guys, make sure you subscribe to the other lovely ladies that are in this Aquarium Nail Challenge collab. I would love it if you did so. I'm super excited to go and check out myself how theirs came out. So I would love it if you guys would show them some love and subscribe to their channel. I'm linking them down below. So here you guys, same thing. I did this one with the nail tip. So I cut out the nail tip in the form to fit the backing of the full cover nail perfectly. And then I took an extra piece of that nail tip, tucked it underneath my, um, tucked it underneath where the finger and the full cover tip met to close off that tunnel, right? Just kind of like you're making a tunnel in the back of your nails. And you guys, I hope I'm explaining this well. It was so hard to do and hard enough to explain. So I hope you guys are getting the idea of what I did here. Now here I wanted to see if it actually worked right. So before filling in those glitters, you guys can see it did actually fill here with oil. So somewhere along the lines, um, some cracks filled, some little holes filled in the nails. And so the oil just seeped through. And actually you guys, the hardest part for me was sticking in glitters into these nails, right? So you have a little hole there on top that we are gonna fill in eventually. And that is where you're gonna stick in your glitters. And I had such a hard time getting glitters in there, you guys. The hole was really, really small, and no matter what I did, it was it took me so long. It took these I mean, these these nails took me like three, four hours to do, and I just could not get those glitters in there easily. I tried almost everything, but eventually I did get a little bit of glitter in there. You guys are going to see my hands turn into a glittery mess soon. I'm going to have glitter everywhere. I try to pour some fine glitters in there. And it is just super fun, glittery funness here. <laughs> so here I'm just attempting to get those glitters in. You guys can see the hole there on top. And that is what we're going to fill with oil. And then we're going to seal that off. I thought I would have better luck you guys using the finer glitters here so here I try to fill the nails in with fine glitters and I wanted to ensure that there were no holes or anything so I took some builder in a bottle 
went along the perimeter of these nails and also underneath them just to ensure that there were no holes or anything before I went in with my oil. And I guess that did not help. Somewhere along the way, there were cracks in these nails and the oil just seeped through. So you guys are gonna see that here. Um, in order to close off the top, you guys, I went in with um, hard gel here and I already put the oil in these nails and I'm going in with the hard gel just to cap these off. And you guys can see me doing that there you definitely need to do this right this is going to keep the oil and the glitters inside your nails but again it didn't go so well the oil dripped everywhere and um all of the glitters came out of the nail in oil all over my fingers but it was super fun testing this out you guys i really really enjoyed it Go check out the other ladies' channels, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!